Hey, this is Kevin from Seek Outside. Today we are talking about our new flight pack. The flight is a light, minimalistic pack designed for through hiking and ultralight adventures. It carries very well for its weight and we feel that it is very durable for its weight class. All in, the flight framing belt, everything runs two pounds, four ounces, two pounds, five ounces, not including removable compression straps, depending on how you utilize those, might add an extra ounce or two. So our offering of the flight is as such. It comes in two sizes, 22 inch, which is centered around a 17, 18 inch torso size, um, but the framing is 22 and 24, which is what I'm wearing. And I have a 20 inch torso size. So you see, I get plenty of lift there. It is also based primarily out of two fabrics. The first fabric is our X21 X pack, which we have been using for a long time, augmented by our Spectra Grid HT fabric. Um, the pocketing here, 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 inside, here, shoulder straps, belt, those are our Spectra Grid HT fabric. Now, a little bit about this fabric. Um, it has a 1500 PU coating, right? So technically if it was a tent, it would be considered waterproof, although it is not as waterproof as X-Pac. However, in our testing, um, it really performs very similar to a 500 denier Cordura as far as abrasion resistance. So we believe it really kind of punches above its weight class. And the reason that it punches above its weight class really is in how the fabric is constructed. Basically at its core, it is a high tenacity nylon, a lightweight high tenacity nylon, combined with this very fine spectra grit. The grit on this is much finer than you see in most of the Dyneema X's and fabrics of that light. The spectra is a larger fiber. So it basically creates a hills and valley effect where the spectra is taking the brunt of the abrasion. So this is pack one. X pack is the basic pack bag. All the high wear areas are Spectra Grid HT. Pack fabric offering two is full on Spectra Grid throughout. Um, this is what I'm wearing right here. Once again, on a 24 inch um, frame, I have a 20 inch torso. So we do believe that for most people, it is probably waterproof enough um, for them to make do. It's also a little more supple, softer hand feel than X Pack, which sometimes is a little stiff. So, on to the framing. The framing is a 7075 aluminum frame structure. It is a perimeter frame structure, very similar to our big packs, where it basically forms an outline. It also includes a horizontal cross stay, which we call, some people call it an intrusion bar. This provides a little bit of additional structure. It's relatively stiff, especially considering the weight of the pack, as you can see. It takes a little bit to get that move in, right? So it is 7075, relatively stiff pack, relatively durable fabrics. Now onto the belt. The belt comes in two sizes. Basically belt one, belt two. The size of the belt is adjustable behind the lumbar pad. So this is belt two, which is the large size belt. You will notice on it, it has four-way forward pull adjustable here. So you can both adjust the top and bottom. It's our real high quality spacer mesh on the inside, waterproof zippers on these pockets here, one inch webbing, one inch center closure here. If you need to make this belt bigger, you simply take and reattach it like this, or you can shrink the belt. Say you happen to be losing weight on a trip or you want this pack to fit somebody else. Where it attaches, it attaches behind here via a Velcro hook and loop closure as well. So that is where the adjustment takes place. You just need to pull that out. Now into the more specific features on the flight, you'll notice, unlike a lot of light packs, this has true dedicated load lifters, right? So I can really pull this in, I can really tighten the load. And as such, I can take quite a bit of it off my shoulder if I want. Um, the belt size I have adjusted fit myself. We have the sternum strap. We have 
little loop here, D-ring that you can attach um, accessories to, as well as a couple loops down here. Um, if we go into the compression system itself, it uses our rapid adaptable compression system, which basically means wherever there are loops, you can attach compression. So I can attach a compression strap here. I can attach a compression strap here. If I like, of course, if I do not feel the need to have a ton of compression straps, I don't need to, but this can cinch down very well. You also have strapping so you can run across the bottom. And if you take a look at this, it's naturally shaped. So for scrambling and stuff, it really kind of gets this out of the way and should be a little bit better if you have to go down some scree slopes and stuff like that as well. We do have this haul loop on the bottom and a haul loop on top. This haul loop also doubles as a dump loop if you really want to get stuff out of your pack in a hurry. It also can be ran beltless, as you see, and frameless as well. Um, it works surprisingly well, beltless. Um, frameless, yeah, you can do it. Um, myself, I'm not a personally a fan of frameless packs. Uh, I feel that uh, they're a little bit too much of a fiddle factor, um, but you certainly can run it beltless or frameless if you really want. This is the full Spectra Grid HT fabric here. Um, you can see what this looks like. It really at a distance, it looks almost a grayish. Um, it's a really beautiful fabric in our opinion and a really good balance. You will notice that the bottle pockets on this are a little taller, a little deeper. They're also pleated. Um, this is an example of putting a standard Nalgene in here. I'll be real honest, most people are gonna have a real hard time reaching back and grabbing the bottle out of that. But in surveys and questions that we asked, most people would rather be able to carry a taller bottle like a smart water bottle better. So that was why we went this route. Um, there are some options available that allow you to carry the bottle on your harness and they work well with this and it makes it very easy access. Now let's also go over compression locations. Because this uses our rapid adaptable compression system, you can compress here, anywhere you have these loops, these foliage loops, here, 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 here. Um, you have over the top located in black from here to here. Um, you also have underneath strapping available right here and right here, as well as you have your Top handle, bottom handle, the bottom handle can also work as a dump for the pack. 